Hello everybody, welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. In today's video, we've got probably one of the most obscure NASCAR Diecasts from the 2017 NASCAR Cup Series season for the 164 scale. That's right, it is Cody Ware's 2017 ECU Pirates Chevrolet SS for Rick Ware Racing. Now, this car is awesome. This car has the same kind of purple and yellow you saw on last year's uh, Cody Ware Nurtex car, which that car sadly got DNP'd. Still don't know why Lionel decided to do that, but thank goodness they've made a Cody Ware car in the past, so I don't have to go the custom route. So let's just get on to Rick Ware Racing for a second. That whole team, like this is this is their first year back in the Cup Series 2017, and I think it was their first time being in the cup series since 2012 with mike wallace at daytona they tried to attempt to qualify for the daytona 500 but unfortunately they dnq'd and this whole team the whole cup series team has been in operation since 1994 at least to my knowledge and they didn't go full-time to nascar and not left since then since 2017 24 year difference and they've been in the cup series since then the next year in 2018, they bought a charter and they they were here to stay. No more missing races and stuff. So this car, especially with like the painted rims, I I don't know what those are. Is that bronze? A bronze uh, um metal um rims. They look really cool. So as you go right here, you got ECU. I think it. I know it. Yes, it's a college. It's a college, and I think Virginia, I think, or North Carolina, wherever Cody wears from. I don't know. Maybe he might have went to this school. You got the skull and crossbones. You see with a captain hat. If that looks really detailed and cool. You go to the front end. You got you got no Chevy SS logo. That's how cool seeing these small teams were back then. Just uh, this is this is a good small team if you get what I mean. You got number fifty one, Moog Sunoco. You got the Chevrolet bow tie. Just what I'm trying to say here is that without the Chevy SS logo like we see on... I'm going to pull up another car from 2017. Here's Gene McMurray's 2017 car. See the Chevy SS car? Chevy S, Chevrolet SS? That's what I mean. By being underfunded. This is also the first 51 car I got. So yeah, yeah. Something about these Chevy SSs makes me want to miss makes me miss them. They're nostalgia. You got Goodyear, you got Mobile One, Mechanic Wear. I don't know what that says right there. You got, you know, the exhaust pipe or whatever it is right there. It looks like a road, honestly, right here. How it transitions from white to yellow. I know that sounds dumb, but it literally looks like it. You got the old 51 font for Rick Ware racing nowadays. This is what their font looks like now. I'm gonna Pull up a car. Here's what their font is looks like. Here's the number JJ Ailey's 15 car. All you got, all you do is just re revert the numbers from five to from one to like what I'm trying to say is from 15 to 51, and that's your font for Cody Ware. So really cool. You got Cody Ware's name up there on on the name rail. I think that's the American flag. I have no idea. Is that, does that say S? No, I don't know what it says. You got Rick Ware Racing. What does those logos say? Hold on a minute. Yeah, they're kind of too, they're kind of too tiny. You got uh, Pirates again right there. What does this say right here? Spoonful. I think that's what it says, Spoonful. I'm trying to look at, at the logos right here. You could see them. Yeah, these logos are tiny. So don't blame me too hard if I can't see them all the way. Got the NASCAR Salutes logo right here. I just noticed that this car, I think it was ran at Dover. And ironically, that was the final win for Jimmy Johnson in, NAS in his NASCAR Cup Series career. I don't know. It could change this year with the way how he performed at the Daytona 500. I mean... 
I know it's it sounds far fetched, but it isn't if you really think about it. Johnson's it's still in somewhat decent competitive equipment. He's not in like Rick Ware co- racing a competitive. He's not not competitive. I meant Rick Ware racing equipment or Spire stuff. He's still he and he's still in good equipment. You got the inside of the car right there. And it's basically the same stuff on the other side. I love how it transitions to right here as well. So on the back end, you got Bubba's Burger, Bubba Bubba Burgers. Or Bubba's Burgers, you got 51. You got the tail lights, you got SS, and you got the rookie stripes with the exo- fake exhaust pipes. That's when you know that this car is pretty old. Because Cody Ware, this was like his second. Uh, he did attempt to start in 2015 at Sonoma, but he DNQ'd in premium motorsports equipment. But um, this is his first time actually attempting a cup race or getting into it. Pardon me. And Bubba's Burger. They actually did get a diecast release from the same year with Corey LaJoy for for um, BK Racing, which we'll get to another BK Racing car in just a few moments. East Carolina, yep, I'm, I was correct. It's a North Carolina. Rare. And you got Spoonful again with that logo. And I love, I love how it starts here, goes right here. But I, I wish it went from here to here and then went back there. I think that would have looked awesome. So here, yeah, here's... A, this is Cody Ware's 2017 ECU Pirates University car. What do you guys think about it? Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, turn the notification bell. What do you think about this car? Do you have it or not? I know quite a few people who have it. So yeah, this is Brian Griffin, Family Got Fans, signing off. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell. Catch you next time. Peace.